see if I still remember how to do this. At its peak, it had over 2,500 students. Here's that auditorium. Almost looks like you're in a stadium. There were like hundreds of thousands of people who called this home. But now it's like you drive through it and it's almost like a ghost town. My name is Jared Coker Urbex. I am originally from the Kansas City area and I've driven all the way from Kansas to this place called Gary, Indiana. This is your classic example of a rust belt town that used to be a really poppin' place back in its heyday. But over the years, due to economic decline, people moving away and just general poverty, it's become one of the most abandoned places in the whole country. It's said that there's thousands upon thousands of abandoned buildings here, so I'm here to spend some time here and explore all the biggest and best spots there are. What we're going to right now is a high school. Okay. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. I actually can't believe all the desks and stuff are still left behind in here. Okay, here we are. This is at least one gym. There might be multiple in here, but you know what? It's kind of dark in here. Allow me to use this time to get out the flashlight that I bought the night before I left for this trip. Now this one in my hand that I'm using right now, it's a really good one. I use it all the time. It's like a 11 or 1200 lumen flashlight. But I literally went and bought one that has 2000 lumens just for bigger rooms like this. Okay, let's see if this makes a difference. Oh yeah. I'd say it does make a considerable difference, but... Okay. Where we are right now is called the Horace Mann High School. Now this place was built in 1928 and it's giant. And at its peak it had... There's a lot of noises. At its peak it had over 2,500 students and it shut down back in 2004. See, what we're gonna see more of on this Gary trip is that most of the spots I hit up are schools. The school board definitely got hit hardest by the decline of this town because due to the shrinking population, there just weren't enough students left to fill the schools in most cases, or just not enough funds to keep them open. So there's something crazy like 30 or 40 abandoned schools in this town. I won't be hitting up every single one of them, but I'll definitely be hitting up a lot of them. The fighting horsemen. Cool. Oh yeah, it is. It's not too huge, but it does have what looks to be a 10 or 12 foot deep end. Yeah, it's just me now. I'll be doing this whole multi-day Gary trip all by myself, at least that's the plan for right now. I didn't bring anyone else with me. In fact, the only reason I even phrased it like that was because I know darn well for a fact that inevitably I'm gonna run into people at some of these places. I, I keep hearing stuff, but it's just really windy and there's a lot of wide open ways into here. There's another wing that way. I'm actually not quite sure what this room would have been. It's big and open, maybe. Could be a cafeteria, I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. This looks like a kitchen back here. And it is, there's stoves and stuff. Look at all these. These are all school books on the floor in here, in, in boxes. 
And to be fair, considering I've already seen classrooms still full of desks and tables, I did not expect this many little artifacts of the school itself to be left in here. Do I want the smaller creepy corridor or the really long creepy corridor? I'm actually surprised that I haven't run into like other people or explorers already. But granted it is like seven in the morning, so what's this? Maybe like some sort of lab because I've seen a lot of these funky tables. Some sort of lab or shop. Where am I? Really far from home, that's where I am. I'm gonna say this is probably like wood shop because I see a bunch of wood in those cabinets and then that says stop machine before making adjustments. These pieces of wood are already cut, probably part of someone's project back before it shut down. The floorboards are all wood by the way. That's hard to tell the angle, let me get down low. Look at how much that's bowing upwards. Those are all the... Yikes. That big lump is all just wooden floorboards buckling upwards. Well, I guess here's the main set of lockers. This looks like the biggest hall I've seen in here so far. I think we're kind of in the center of it now. What's this? There's so many of these weird little semi-elevated portions and portions that are lower. I don't know what this is. I mean, these are probably just more extravagant offices. Teachers' offices and stuff. Oh, look at that. Some of these even still have combination locks on them. I do believe uh, these past hallways I've walked down kind of make up the main square of the place. There are a couple separate branches, I guess is what you could call them, that lead to almost kind of like interconnected buildings. Oh wait, yep, yeah, I was right. We're back to the gym because I went in a big circle because I was saying that I just went around the main four halls of this place, so. Literally just going out here to get my bearings. So yeah, I've been that way. I've been all through this way. I might just have to go up to the second floor. That might be where the auditorium is. Look at this. That is part of a drum. I can't help but wonder if that was anyone just dumping that there or if maybe we're close to some sort of like band room. And to tell you what, you know what these are right here? And I'm totally right because that looks like an old piano that's been destroyed, but I think these little tiny rooms are used for like music practice. Like for individuals to come have their own little space to practice their instruments that's somewhat sound secure. And I was right. This is the band room. I really, I don't see any instruments though. Although I wouldn't really have expected there to be much. Here's another ruined piano. <laughs> and you can still see music sheets. There's a big stand for holding instruments. They'd go in those little slots there and there. And more cupboards for holding instruments. So Gary, Indiana is right outside Chicago. It's kind of within that general populated vicinity. Because like I said, way back in the day, in like its heyday, several like decades back, around like the 50s, 60s and whatever, it was a huge pop place. There were like hundreds of thousands of people who called this home. But now it's like you drive through it and it's almost like a ghost town. Even though it's still highly populated, but there's just so much abandoned stuff. That's why I came here. I came here to be as efficient as I possibly could be within a few day stretch. Every major entrance to this place is just wide open. Kind of crazy. 
But that, to be fair, that's another reason I came to Gary. I truly don't believe there's really that big a threat of any sort of legal trouble should I get seen or caught in any of these buildings because there's just so many of them. And so many people go to them that it's like, I truly don't believe anyone really cares. Here's that auditorium. I did read up somewhere that it caught fire a little bit. All the windows are gone, but that just lights the room up a little bit better. I actually find that pretty cool right there. That little walkway, the way I came through to get in here, it almost looks like you're in a stadium. So when you walk through it, you're just kind of right there in the midst of the whole thing. That's a pretty wild perspective here with all those windows gone. So I found it kind of peculiar, but through that door over there when I was poking around the stage area, it actually looked like there's another gym in there. And there, and there is, yeah, look. And this one's one of those really old-timey ones with a, a jogging track up above. That's what that elevated thing is. That first gym I saw when I initially walked in here was definitely the main one. This was probably a secondary, kind of like auxiliary one. See the dust flying around in here? Look, here's an old flyer about dance auditions. This is like the same layout as that other gym, except this one has been divided into two different rooms with the wall, but there's still like a walkway track going around the whole thing. It's really weird. Or maybe it was the health room. This one leads you back out into here which makes sense, the building is symmetrical because the other gym with the raised track was through that door over there. Okay, so I wanna see right now, all that I really have left to see is the third floor. And I do wanna go see those uh, balconies with the tracks. All right, this'll do. Why is this so dark? See, what I'm kind of puzzled about is why there's really no way to get to that portion of the building from here. Like, you'd think there'd be a hallway connecting the two, but that's just a dead-end room, and that's just a classroom. Kind of stuck going back all the way around. Well, how do you get to that other level of uh, gym and track? Well, see, this isn't it either. It's kind of a cool science lab looking room, but I'm still just trying to get to the track. Here we go. This right here will do it. And oddly enough, it was actually backstage the whole time. Yep, this is it. I mean, this doesn't really look like much of a track from up here, but I know in some schools, these little elevated areas above these multi-purpose gyms were painted with lines to mimic like a, a running track. You know, all in all, this first mission was actually pretty calm and peaceful, which I'm glad for. Cause you know, it's been months since I explored by myself. I didn't really want to do this. I didn't really like want to come all this way. Like, my heart wasn't really in it, but it was just time to like get back to work. So this one was a good one to start. This was nice and peaceful and it 
just kind of let me back into the game, so to speak. Okay, so with that being said, um, I really do think I've seen just about all like the good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my way uh, back out of here. Anyway, let's just walk out the front door because they care so little about this place, I guess, that everything just kind of sits open nowadays. And out here, there is still a pillar for the class of 1971. All right, so we're here on scene of the second place that I just explored, but I realized I forgot to outro this video, so thanks as always for watching. That was a really nice way to kick off the whole Gary series, and it's a nice high school. It was everything I wanted to see, like this gyms, auditoriums, pools, stuff like that, so hopefully we find more of those over the stretch of uh, Gary Explores, but um, Hopefully everything is smooth sailing, because Gary is a pretty dangerous place, and it was way worse back in the 90s, but still kind of sketchy today, but hopefully everything goes well, and I will see you in the next video and in the rest of the series.